Hey, hey, motherfuckers! Sorry, I so rarely get to review an adults-only game that I figured I would take advantage of it. Today we're going to take a look at Codenames Deep Undercover from Czech Games Edition. This is a new adults-only version of the original Codenames, which I will link to somewhere in my review of that one. Uh, and basically, this is the same exact game, mechanically speaking, as Codenames, except that the word cards that you put out onto the table, many of them are R-rated, or some of them are not necessarily R-rated, but very suggestive. Um, actually, before I go any further, I should mention that this is a Target exclusive, which is weird, uh, because it is an adults-only game, and Target is more of a family-friendly store, but not as much as Walmart, of course. Uh, so you have to go to Target to get this game, at least for now. That may change in the future, or I'm sure it'll be on eBay at some point. But uh, it should be available by the time that everyone's watching this, because I think it became um, nationwide like yesterday. Um, I got my copy over the weekend because I think some stores just said fuck it and put it out as soon as they got it in their warehouse, but whatever. Also, there's an Oregon Trail card game, which I'll review soon, that's also exclusive to Target, so they're getting a lot of stuff like this. And a new version of Machi Koro I saw on the shelf. That was kind of surprising to me, but I didn't bother with it because I don't like Machi Koro anymore. I digress. <laughs> now we're talking about Codenames Deep Undercover, and as I said, it's just an adults-only version of the original. And I'm going to keep this very brief. I'm not even going to do a final thoughts. This is my final thoughts. Um, I'll show you some of the new cards and also the new artwork on the um, spy and civilian cards as well. Uh, tiles, I should say. But regardless of all that, uh, let's just get to it. <laughs> is this a version of Codenames that you need? Now, if you watch my original interview, you know I love Codenames. It's a great game. A lot of people love Codenames, um, just in general, and also in my own group as well. So any new version of Codenames is not a bad thing. There's a new Codenames Pictures as well. It's coming out of Gen Con. That's probably pretty interesting. And so adults-only version? Sure, <laughs> why not? Except that, of course... A uh, huge swath of the gaming population wants nothing to do with anything R-rated or suggestive. It's a very weird thing. <laughs> uh, but it's still sort of a holdover from when board gaming and tabletop gaming was primarily a uh, very uh, non-offensive, uh, white Christian thing to do on Wednesday night family game nights. Now it's open to a whole wide swath of people of varying... Um, I don't know, persuasions and ages and uh, inclinations. And so it makes sense to turn some of these games, especially party games, and I guess Codenames is a party game. I'm still on the fence about that. But to make them into adults-only versions. So I don't have a problem with it whatsoever. But let's talk about it practically speaking. Do you need this version if you are already perfectly happy with your uh, original version of Codenames? Is it that important to you, for example, as you'll see in a moment, that instead of having cards that just say like, Water, fire, uh, door, um, window, <laughs> very, very generic things that you have cards that say cock and pussy and uh, motorboats and, you know, very uh, Johnson, suggestive words and just outright um, seven deadly words, or not seven deadly words, but the seven forbidden words or whatever George Carlin's bit was. Is it that important to you to have those? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I should mention that the reason that people even got this edition, or the reason this, they even came up with this edition, was because people were already playing the original code names with the white clue cards or uh, response cards from Cards Against Humanity. Which was a fun way to do it. I've tried that before. But I should mention as well that, that this is very different because Cards Against Humanity cards often had phrases and sentences. These are just one word, so it's a bit truer to the code names formula. And so it works better. It's a little bit faster. But it's not going to be for everybody. I think that some people, even if they're inclined to like dirty humor, aren't really going to find <laughs> that much to love about this because the original works so well as it is. And why muddy the waters when you're like, hey, I might be playing with some people tonight who are not down with these kind of words and so on. For me, having both is kind of a boon because if I'm playing with people I know very well, we tell dirty jokes all the time. I'll use the dirty set, why not? Because most of the time we turn our original code names into dirty stuff anyways. <laughs> That's how all of our party games de uh, devolve uh, eventually. Uh, so I like it. It's as good as the original code names, mechanically speaking. It's just a matter of whether you are going to be into it or not. Um, as far as like the components go, I think the card quality is a little bit lesser, but barely noticeable. They got new art for the tiles, which is... Kind of weird. First off, the male and female spies are no longer double-sided, like one on top of the other on a tile. Now they're separate, which is fine, I guess. There's an equal amount of both. 
Um, and they, they look like they're ready for the night because they, they took off their sunglasses and they look looser, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of weird. And then for the civilians, they got all new art for every tile. And they're like, hey, this guy's got, there's a white guy with dreads and a hat. So he obviously smokes a lot of pot. And there's like a punk rocker girl with pink uh, hair and earrings. And uh, there's a black dude. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, you mean like regular people out in the real world? <laughs> because in the original, the two civilians, a man and a woman, were just like super generic, boring, plain. Um, and they tried to put a little bit of life and effort into the artwork on this one. I guess it's fine. It's kind of unnecessary. But it, it, presentation-wise, the game is the same as it ever was. So make your decision. It's entirely up to you whether you think you need a dirty version of the game. But either way, they function very well. Codenames is a great game, however you want to slice it. Although I haven't played the pictures one yet. So without further ado, let me show you some of the new cards and the new tiles in the set. Take care. Doing a little show at the local discotheque. This fine young chick was on my jack, so I said, what the heck? She wanted to come on stage and do a little dance. I said, chill for now, but maybe later you'll get your chance. When the show was finished, I took her to the crib. Gino's in the kitchen looking for some sticky ribs. She was on the talking, I was on the drinking. She took another scoop from the press on on her pinky. It was getting late. I was getting tired. If I show up late again, tomorrow I'll get fired. I don't give a rat's ass, cause she had a fat ass. Time is dripping like my temper body's like an hourglass. Girl was kinda iffy, but I am not so picky. If I get it up, I can do it in a jiffy. Popping like it's jiffy pop, heating on the stove top. Gino said I'll be outside and grabbed another hash block. Took it from my stash pot, where I keep my sticky hick. Jiffy got some music on. Dancing like she feel it She hopped up on a coffee table Scuffing with her boots Hopped up, hopped up on that powder Now it's time to make a move It was like a blizzard Legs were like the sea So I parted with my hands To the place they wanna be Panties non-existent It was so exquisite It was opened up Like she wanted me to visit Then I heard the door knock Jump like I was freaked out I heard Gino yell Sorry, where those should I'm locked out Went to let him in he handed me the pipe I said I don't want to hit it But there's a chance that she would like to try it So I gave her a crack at all the flavor Then I saw her wobble like the chemical was major I just raised my eyebrows Gino said oh wow Then she fell and hit her head hard on the way down Music still was blasting We were staring days Her dress above her waist We can see it all for days She was knocked the fuck out Went and tried to pick her but Gino went to get his camera for a picture I could feel her breathing, that was on the plus Got selfish for a second cause I knew I wouldn't nut Finally she came to, I just said what it do She looked like she had seen a ghost, all she said was Who are you, who is he, why is he taking a picture of me Where am I, how did I end up with you two scary guys I said he ain't scary, just because he's black And I'm not out to hurt you just because I have a stash See those scratches on the 